Hey, sister pools and bros and on what's up? So let's talk. So I would just um helping somebody go through some stuff. A person I didn't know walked past and was venting, and you know took time to step out in the fucking rain and help a person through a situation. And that brought up this topic today. So what I want to talk about now is a healthy relationship. Because everybody want a relationship, right? Don't nobody want to be alone. Even the ones who play like they letting their nuts hang, they hurt and going through some shit. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know what it takes to be in a healthy relationship. Now, you got people that date for multiple reasons. You got people who get into marriages and relationships for clout reasons. Because of who that person is and the social status that person can uh, can get on by being with that person. Or it could be opportunities. This, this person might be connected, you know, well connected and which you need those connections. It could be because of a person's um, income. Um, you could date somebody because of a lifestyle you think they could provide for you because of the amount of money they make. Or it could be because how a person looks. Oh, he's very handsome. Oh, she's very beautiful. And, you know, do lusting after a person. You know what I'm saying? And I just have a question. For, for all of these examples that I have just given, has any of those relationships worked out, people who got into it, for those reasons? Um, I, the number one complaint I hear is that people not the same, bitches not the same, niggas not the same, da 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 it's, That's not the case. Temptation has been here for generations. Um... Life problems, life in general has always been here. We just entered it and started living it. A lot of people want to be in relationships and they come in broken. Um, or they don't even love themselves. How can you expect somebody to love you? Or how can you expect to love somebody else if you don't love yourself? A lot of people get into a relationship and get that codependency. Thinking it's your main responsibility to make you a better person. No, it's not your main responsibility. It's your main responsibility to support you and assist you in being a better person, being the best you. But it's your job to put in that step work. It's your job to get out there and do what it takes to change you for the better. If that's something that you want. A lot of relationships that's not working, I see, has double standards. One mate is asking for more out of a mate than they're willing to give in return. So that's when it becomes, you know, an unfair relationship and a person feel unappreciated or used or taken advantage of. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you got to treat the person you with how you want them to treat you. It's that simple. It's that simple. And you have to be the same way you want your mate to be somebody that you can rely on, that you know will have your back through good, bad, and different. You have to be the exact same person for your mate. Period. And, and, and yeah, sometimes, you know, we all get overwhelmed with this thing called life, and sometimes we need our mate to rail us back in. But at the end of the day, it's not your mate's job to go fishing for you. You get what I'm saying? You, as an adult, who claims to be relationship ready, you have to know when to check yourself. You have to know what you need when it's time to upgrade your life or do better for your fucking self. You can't expect your mate to always do these type of things. Or anybody in general. Um, and another thing is, what I realize is unhealthy is that people don't know when to accept when things have, have changed and that it's time to move on. I've seen the end of the relationships cause people to, to, to die or be seriously injured or stalked or... You have to be okay with not being okay, first of all. And you have to be okay with reality, no matter how much it hurts. If a person don't want you, it's nothing you can do. If a person dead ass deep down the side don't want you, ain't no threat, ain't no, none of that's going to work. It's, all it's going to do is make them not want you even more and paint yourself in the light so that nobody else wants you. Because I'm not going to lie, if I, if, I, if I got a homeboy or, or, or a guy that's... Um, interested in me and I see that he that he's stalking his ex-girlfriend and doing all of this goofy shit to her, I wouldn't want to put myself in that predicament. Because the worst thing you can do is love me. Because I see how you act when you love somebody. It's it's the difference in healthy love and unhealthy love. And you have to know that difference. You get what I'm saying? And it's a thing that a lot of people play victim. A lot of people put themselves in a fucking situation and want to blame the other person. <coughs> no. That's one thing about being an adult. Being able to admit when you fucked up, being able to admit when you're wrong, and being grown and mature enough to put the step work and to do what it takes to fix it, if it's fixable. And if it's not fixable, you know, I'm just learning from it and bowing out gracefully. A lot of people cannot bow out gracefully. You know what I mean? And um, in my opinion, it just caused unnecessary stress, drama, and chaos in your life. At the end of the day, if somebody don't want to be with me, I'm, the last thing I'm going to think about is taking their life. Because at the end of the day, what is that really going to help me do? Okay, I can pop up. I can I can pull up. 
I can I can want to fight you before what? What is? How is that going to help me? All that sounds like is uh, being arrested in jail and on um, jail time and a record and it is my my name and and is tarnished. That's all it sounds like to me. I don't see how that's going to help me heal or grow or overcome a situation in any shape, way, or form. How can I move on if I'm if every day I'm letting my past overwhelm me? If a person don't want you, they don't want you. It could hurt. You could feel cheated. You could feel like it's fucked up. However you feel about it, you're entitled to feel that way. But what you shouldn't want to do and what you're not entitled to do is fuck that person life because they don't want you. Or fuck your life up because that person don't want you. What is that? I don't understand what that's going to gain or how, the, how you're going to benefit from that. You have a lot of people out here that's so angry and so hurtful that, you know, they just seeking revenge and not understanding that. And, and you're... And you're in your quest for revenge, you didn't you didn't close so many doors on yourself. You didn't you didn't block so many opportunities. You know what I mean? That could have helped you heal better because you're so bitter and angry. Um, and to me, that's just unhealthy, and I don't I don't understand it. I don't support it, and I don't recommend it. Um, everybody go through shit. You know, I I fell for people that wasn't the best choice for me. I've um love people that wasn't the best choice for me and at the end of the day and I've been hurt by people we all have but at the end of the day every situation I, I, I've been through first of all I acknowledge the fact that I put myself in the situation and why and I don't play victim I acknowledge what I did to allow a person to hurt me yeah I don't exclude them I know what they've done to me we all know what was done to us but what did you do to allow it and I heal from it and I move on and I live my life I don't want to be vengeful or vindictive or spiteful or just a stereotype period um and to me i don't know like i just keep a bucking you get what i'm saying like i don't regret nothing i've been through no matter how horrible or how good it was because it helped me be the person i am and that's how y'all gotta end up thinking like y'all cannot let this thing called love control your whole life you cannot let your life be in another person's hands we are all flawed we were all born in sin. We are all flawed individuals. Some show their flaws um, more than others, and some hide their flaws better than others. But at the end of the day, we're all flawed. We're, we're human beings. None of us are perfect. And when you put something as precious as your livelihood, your life, your 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 sanity, your well-being, when you put something that important, in my opinion, in somebody else's hands, you set yourself up for failure. And I just talked the person out of that. They really... Like I say, y'all got to understand what a healthy love is and what an unhealthy love is. Love a person all day. Want a person in your life all day. But, you know, to get that strung out where it's unhealthy, that ain't cool. And at the end of the day, like, you have to be the best person you can be. If a person don't want to be with you that once wanted to be with you, something in you changed. Or something in that person changed. Either you stop being the man or woman that that person fell for. Or you didn't live up to the standards that you put yourself under when you got with that person. Or some people just simply grow the fuck apart. Regardless of what the reason is, it's not going to change the, the ending result that you grow apart. So to sit here and get angry or fuss or talk with people house 2 o'clock in the morning to go out your way trying to make somebody miserable, I don't understand that. And that's a concept that I just cannot grip. I mean, like I say, I've loved, I've been hurt, I've been betrayed, I've been cheated on. You know, I've been through all of that stuff too, but I've never felt the need to fuck somebody's life up. I've never been that angry or that, I've never been bitter. I've been, I've been angry behind it. Yeah, my feelings have been hurt. My heart has been broken. Fuck yeah, I've been through all of that. I felt used. I felt, you know, unappreciated. We all have been through that when we decide to go ahead and date. But let's be real. That's a gamble that we take when we decide to date. When you decide to let somebody else in your life intimately, you're taking a gamble. So when you when you crap out, you can't get mad. You just gotta learn a lesson. And when you set the table to play this game called love again, just be better suited and make sure your hand is more, is better. That's all you can do. But to be that angry where you wanna fight somebody, you wanna cause somebody physically harm, physical harm, you you know you wanna go out your way to stalk a person to fuck somebody else's life up because they don't want you in their life. To me, that's sad. That's to me. I mean. I never want to feel like that. And I would never allow nobody to make me feel like that. I just can't because I know how to accept reality. 
And at the end of the day, you got to do with yourself. Were you the best woman you could have been for that man? Were you the best man you could have been for that woman? How much shit did you put that man through? How much shit did you put that woman through before they finally threw their hands up? You get what I'm saying? See, people have the tendency of wanting to play victim. Or oh, this person did this to me. Or oh, this person did that to me. Okay, what have you done? How many of us adults can can actually admit what we've done? Were you jealous? Were you overbearing? Were you too controlling? Were you were, were your insecurities too much to deal with? Were you a cheater? Were you a liar? Were you a manipulator? Or were you simply just not compatible? All right, bro. Um, you just gotta think about those things. Like love is not. Love is a tough game to go play. And everybody want to play this love game. Everybody want a boyfriend. Everybody want a girlfriend. Everybody want to get married. Everybody want to have kids. I'm one of those people too. But one thing I've learned is that patience is key. When you rush things that's that important in your life, you fuck up every time. You end up with somebody you don't even like. You end up having kids with a person you can't even fucking stand. And you end up in fucked up situations. Well, you don't have patience. You get what I'm saying? And then when you don't evaluate yourself. When I realized what I wanted in a man personally, I realized what type of woman I had to be to, to get that type of man. So before I, you know, went out here dating, wanting to blame every man, saying that every man is just horrible, I had to evaluate myself as a woman and become the woman that I knew I could be, be the best woman that I can be, so therefore I can get the best man that's suitable for me. But if I wasn't shit, I cannot get mad if all I attract is ain't shit people. If I'm a cruddy ass motherfucker, I can't get mad when I keep attracting cruddy ass motherfuckers. You are what you attract. So if you keep attracting the same kind of people, rather than keep blaming everybody else, take a moment and reflect on yourself and realize what is it about me? What am I doing wrong to attract this type of person, because let's be real, if you keep finding yourself in fucking situations, you end up with the same person with a different face. You go through the same type of bullshit, right? Because you're attracting the same type of human being, just different faces, different people. And it's something about you, it's something about the energy that you're releasing into the universe for them to send that shit back your way. So everything stuff with self, fix yourself first. Everybody want somebody in their life when they're not even ready for that shit yet. Fix yourself, are you okay? Can you stand on your ten toes without anybody else? See, a lot of people get in relationships needing a relationship. And when you need a relationship, that shit is unhealthy. And it's not going to work out. When you want one, that's the difference. A lot of people get love and obsession confused. Or love and stability confused. Or love and lust confused. A lot of men that I see out here going crazy about females, for example, right? Out here losing their shit, wanting to fight every nigga that they see in their bitch face, or any nigga that comment on their bitch shit, they want to fight, they want to fight, they want to shoot. And when I ask them, you can put it on the channel, bro. And when I ask them, yo, like, what is it about her? Tell me what is it about this female? And even females, when I see bitches out here fighting over niggas, wanting to cut bitches over niggas, shoot bitches over niggas, pull up on bitches over niggas. But both, I, when, I, when I get across people like that who come to me for advice and I ask them, what is it about the person? It's always physical. It be different angsts, granted true, but every angst yo, is always physical. Oh, the, her pussy this, oh, his dick this, oh, her mouth this, or her mouth that, or she can do this, or she can do that. And when I, and when I hear these angsts from these people... It don't seem like they're doing this because they truly love that person. They love the way that person makes them feel sexually. They love what that person can do for them. It could be financially or whatever. And they love the benefit of being with that person. So everything I named was assets that we have. Your dick, your pussy is an asset. That does not define who you are. The way we look, how beautiful, how attractive or unattractive we are, that's an asset. That doesn't define who we are. What we go out here and do for a living and what we bring in for is money, that's an asset. That does not define who you are. So, when I ask these people these questions of why are you going so crazy? Why are you loving this person so hard? And they begin to make assets of these people. Then I realize that you are afraid to lose the, the benefit of being with this person. You are afraid that you're going to lose the money. You're going to lose the, the clothes. You're going to lose the clout. You're going to lose the, the orgasm or the nut. None of that was the person. Which means if you can find another person that can provide all of those things, 
then that person wouldn't even be worth the fight. Because it's not the person that you're out here fighting for. It's the benefits. It's the bonuses that come with that person. And half of the shit that I hear is stuff that as adults we should be with Bob's own self. You should have your own job to 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 um to um finance your lifestyle. That's nobody else's job to buy you drawers or buy you shoes. That's your fucking job as an adult. It's nobody else's job, you feel me, to give you a lavish lifestyle. If you don't want to live in the hood, then bitch works and you ain't got to. You know, as far as sex, like you should not let something as simple and basic as a nut or an orgasm dictate your life or dictate the choices that you make in life so if you're one of those people and i'm not judging you but if you find yourself being one of the people who's jealous for no reason extra jealous extra territorial insecurities you have some self-healing to do because all you're doing is um is deflecting all your personal issues onto your mate onto your friendship or to your job and until you get that shit right, God can send you a thousand good people. You are the bad person. All you're going to do is poison every good thing that comes into your life until you cure the poison within yourself. And I just really fucking need to come touch on that today and really speak on that. Because a lot of people out here loving unhealthy. Or, they, or their definition of love is not accurate. Or their definition of a successful relationship that has longevity is not accurate because you're putting your your own personal responsibilities as an adult on your mate and when your mate feels more like your caregiver than your mate your relationship starts dying <coughs> so that's just food for thought and just think about that you guys really think about that Is your love real or is it a codependency? Ask yourself that. And with that being said, have a productive morning. I'll talk to y'all later.